Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this is awkward. So it's been a while. How's it going? Good? That's good. I'm so glad. <laughs> All right, enough weirdness. Um, I'm sorry that I, once again, I've given up recording. Really don't mean to, but what can I say? You know, life gets in the way, life happens, and it just gets a little harder and harder to do this. But I think the worst is over, and uh, if you haven't caught me recently, I've been a part of a few streams. Um, if you watch Namaku's video, Namaku's videos, he's spoken about him the infamous Lloyd <laughs> or Mr. Rage Quit. I've been tweeting about him a lot, like his stream, and also Sinful and Cry. They are very, very awesome, cool dudes that uh, stream, and uh, you should definitely go check them out. Their links will be in the description, because yeah, why not? <laughs> um, so that's what I've been distracted about mostly, but before that, let's just say things got hard um, and dicey. I will probably end up talking for, or speaking further into that in another video, but at this time I just want to get started and I don't want to get awkward and yeah. <laughs> So let's go ahead and do this because I'm actually not going to play on time zone this time. I'm going to play in a new world called... Isn't that romantic? I think that's romantic. I've, I've been like loading up amplified terrains because I really want to play on amplified with this but turns out my computer cannot handle it. Can barely handle creating a world anymore so we're just gonna leave it to default and I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut the recording here and be right back <laughs> all right I'm back it's still kind of loading but it's getting there so let's go ahead and get started I actually want to go over here I like oak better acacia uh, So yeah, um, all this time off of YouTube has actually got me thinking if this is actually worth it. Uh, I know it's kind of sad, but I mean, come on, <laughs> freaking recording videos and like talking to myself in the middle of the night, it's kind of creepy if you think about it. <laughs> but I actually ended up concluding that this actually is good for me to do and um, that I should do it till like it becomes too much of a task for me to do and I just end up having to give it up pretty much and um, that being said I actually want to mention something and I know some of you are probably gonna hate me after this but I don't care. <laughs> um, what's it called? One of the biggest reasons why I decided to actually go on ahead and take this seriously is actually because of someone known as Markiplier, which I know, I know, most of you have already like clicked out of the video because I said that, but. For me to say something like that is actually uh, pretty big, I guess, is the word for it. Um, in my life, I've only had one other person inspire me. And uh, to say someone I don't even know inspired me is pretty crazy, I guess. But. Uh, however, that is a topic I really would rather keep to myself for now. Um, 
if you guys don't mind. Probably end up talking about it. Uh, which is actually something I'm... Which actually brings me to the, uh, the topic of myself. Um, talking about myself and uh, anything about myself. I've mentioned before that I really don't want to talk about myself or mention myself in any way, shape, or form. But I've kind of decided against that since viewers are sort of like friends you haven't met yet, you know? They end up becoming such a big part of your life. Like if I'm recording hours every day and posting them every day, you know, that's a big chunk of my life that you guys are a part of. So it seems pretty messed up for me not to at least let you know who the hell you're watching. Um, although still seems kind of weird. I don't know, I'm still iffy about it to be honest, but I probably will end up saying something since I chatter a lot and I end up bouncing to a bunch of different topics. Like I haven't even finished the first thing I wanted to say about Markiplier, but yeah, just something to keep in mind I suppose. So as I was saying, um, Markiplier one time posted a video about how you become successful on YouTube kind of thing and um, he kind of just says to believe in yourself I mean you're really capable of anything if you just set your mind to it really and I know that's very cliche but he's got a point I mean what can't you do if you don't set your mind to it I mean, you can even have a disease and die because your mind says that you do. I mean, that's kind of crazy if you think about it. <laughs> but it does happen, and it has happened. You can look it up. The placebo effect is, like, very big in medicine these days. Just so that they don't have to make you spend so much money for something you probably don't even have. It's pretty insane, in my opinion. And it sounds crazy. Like, you probably think I'm just making this up, but seriously, look it up. It's a thing. <laughs> and, um... And, well, yeah, like... He ended up talking about why he started doing YouTube at all. And, um... His reason was because he wanted to, to practice his voice acting. And, I mean... Look how much stronger his voice has gotten over the years. And if you've... Like... How do I say this? If you've seen anyone else's videos, like, in Time Zone, Or me on stream, with Emocon, or Lloyd, or Cry recently, I, I just got off stream with him. <laughs> I am very hard to hear. Like... My voice is very weak, as opposed to all of their strong, manly voices. Uh, you can barely hear me, <laughs> and it frustrates me, but like, that's just how my voice is. I don't know how to make it louder, and things like that, you don't really notice how you change them. They just sort of happen because you're using them, and... Uh, like, my best example would be Markiplier. His voice has gotten so much more deeper since he started YouTube. And I would really love and ho I hope to achieve that. So that I can be a little more heard, I guess you can say. Uh, and this will very much help me in, like, a workplace. If I want people to take me seriously, they're going to have to be able to hear me first. So, yeah. There's that. And, um... I honestly... And honestly, meeting new people, you know, has never been, like, something that I don't like, to be completely honest. But, real life encounters are not my strong suit. If I'm put on the spot, I can't 
really like react I guess you can say so there's that <laughs> not that I'm an awkward person like I'm actually very easy to get along with and um, I can start up conversations and like keep them going and whatnot but I don't know I just feel like my interactions are not well oiled I guess is a way to say it <laughs> so I seriously need to do that more which I hope this will do I mean I'm gonna start streaming eventually too I just need the internet for it and um, yeah there's that <laughs> there's a lot to talk about I haven't recorded in a very long time not that I haven't recorded I haven't uploaded anything in a very long time I've recorded I've recorded a lot <laughs> I have hours and hours of recording videos already and none of them have seen the light of day because I end up, I don't know, regretting what I say in one of them. Not that I say mean things, I just, there's some things I really don't want being said just yet. It's just, I don't know, I want to keep my privacy to myself. But it gets to a point where I don't really see why I can't talk about that or why I won't talk about that. So I end up just saying, you know, why not kind of thing. That being said, I'm not going to end up doing a draw my life anytime soon. Uh, it's... It's not that I don't trust people, I honestly don't care if my my story is said. Just that it gets very sensitive, I guess is a word. But when I say sensitive, I mean depressing. <laughs> uh, not that it's like the worst life in the world and I'm like, like my life is one to be you know, hated and like, I don't know. It gets sad, but it's not the worst, I guess. I don't know, I'm rambling. Um, but yeah, I should probably get a move on from here because I'm going to die. And this is hardcore. As you saw in the beginning, I put hardcore because I wanted hardcore. We're gonna wait for a few of these to cook and we're gonna start moving because if not we will die. I should probably make a chest piece just in case. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go. I'll start cooking more down there. And this goes nowhere. Whoop de do. Wait, are you serious? These caves don't lead to anywhere. Over here it just keeps going up. Okay, this is like I was afraid of coming down here because it looked too dark. Now I realize it's Oh look, it leads to somewhere. Yay. And this is also nowhere. <laughs> okay. Actually, no, I don't want to eat again. Alright, I'm gonna dig down. I probably shouldn't use this though. Let me make another pick. Do 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 do. Or how hash does it? Dumpty dumpty dum. Right? That's how it does it. Let me actually take this back too. Or was that another cave? I don't know, but I hear. I hear things. Probably is another cave down here, somewhere. Alright. Something else to talk about. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but one of the big reasons that I ended up, like, not recording anymore, um, is because my life pretty much came to a complete stop. <laughs> well, not that I died, but 
it's close enough. Something like that, pretty much. Um, I didn't have a job anymore. I uh, couldn't go to school. Um, and yeah, there was just there was no getting out for me anymore. Um, reason being, my mom and I had a discussion, and she ended up acting like I don't even exist anymore. So, anytime it comes to helping me or being a mom, yeah, she acts like, like I'm not even there. <laughs> so, there's that. And my dad has his job all the way in the last city we used to live in, which is uh, half an hour from here. And um, him getting me to places is just not an option for me because when I was working and he would take me to work, I would get to work two hours earlier than I needed to. And let me tell you, that's not fun. <laughs> like he knew how much, or he didn't actually. My coworkers noticed the toll it was taking on me and they barely know me. <laughs> And they were able to notice how much it changed me. So that's saying something. And um, so I basically had like nothing to do. And I'm, I pretty much just sat there most of my nights and days just sleeping. I barely even went out to eat food because it just felt weird being in the same room as my mom. Since, I don't know. She just seems off anytime I'm in the area. And I just try to avoid that as much as I can. It's actually still a thing. I just stopped caring. The only thing that bugs me is that it's really affecting the family. Because now she doesn't even take me to any family gatherings. And um, my sisters, which live another 30 minutes away from us, end up having to drive the opposite way to come pick me up and then go like I feel really bad about that and it's not even my fault like it's not like I'm not trying to talk to my mom I am she just won't respond like I've helped her before already anytime she needed my help like in an emergency I was I'm here for her you know I'm not gonna give her attitude because I'm not that kind of daughter. I never was. She just... I don't know. She doesn't accept it. She's being more of a brat than I am, is pretty much what I'm trying to say here. <sighs> Which is funny too, because she's been able to talk to everyone in the family about it, and I haven't. So they've pretty much all taken her side. Which... sucks but there's really nothing I can do about that, so... Oh well. I don't really care though. They can believe what they want. Aww, I need you. Okay then. So that, uh, that aside, like it hasn't been hard. It's been tough, but not like impossible. Pretty much just gotta focus on something else there's no need to let her drag me down with her <laughs> so hopefully that means I take this on a lot more seriously which would be freaking awesome because I really do love doing this I even love the editing which is saying something because editing is really annoying <laughs> a lot of like a lot of um like Namaku and whatnot, they avoid as much editing as possible because of how tedious and annoying it can get. And I'm I'm there with them. Like I've recorded this a few times because I end up saying something I really don't want to. And instead of just editing it out, I uh, completely erase it, <laughs> which is something definitely. Um, Ooh. 
and it's actually pretty late where I'm at right now, so I am getting pretty tired just trying to race through all the topics and get this over with. But nobody wants to see like that kind of content. Uh, so let me think of something else that I need to say. Um, have I mentioned that I might stream? So, so my life right now, I've actually got, there's things are actually looking up. Um, my dad pretty much is funding everything in my life right now. He is, uh, a savior <laughs> and so awesome. I've been able to spend a lot more time with him too now that my mom's kind of against me. Like he's the only one that's taken my side well, along with my little sister but she's another story. And since I've been able to hang or spend much more time with my dad I've been able to like get to know him a lot more and he is such a dork. <laughs> I see where I get my my sense of humor, my taste in music and everything from because he he definitely gave birth to me <laughs> or yeah that's not it <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore and I'm gonna move on to saying he got a car now our situation has been that his car has been messed up for a while already and he has been meaning to work on it but he was afraid to in if in case he broke it and had no other like alternative so he sort of just left it there and my car is functional but it's on the rocks like it could be so much better so um He's also been afraid to work on that if in case he did mess it up and we ended up not having any car to get anywhere, especially since he has to drive 30 minutes to get to work. So that being said, he took on a job for a friend of his and he He's, and he, he charged them, or he's charging them quite a bit. And since they have like trivial ways of paying him, one of them was a car. So my dad put me in the insurance for that car. And um, now I get to drive it. And it's going to be for me to get around so that I can find my job, myself a job, and start doing stuff pretty much instead of just staying at home all day which is very exciting for me because this is actually the first time I've been able I could get myself around so that'll be fun <laughs> because I have OCD okay deal with it Okay. All right then. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I get a job and end up making my own money and stuff and things, I'll pretty much have enough money to upgrade my internet and start streaming, <laughs> which is pretty exciting for me because as I've mentioned, I'm not very good at public speaking like at all like even if it's between a computer screen uh, I don't know <laughs> just not my strong suit so streaming is going to be very interesting because I will have no idea what I'm doing first of all and I'm gonna have a bunch of friends who are gonna tease me and bug me in the chat which will be fun <laughs> so stay tuned for that pretty much um, but 
but yeah, it should be should definitely be something that I'm gonna do since so many of my friends stream already. I don't see why I can't jump on the bandwagon. Should be fun. So definitely something to look forward to, I guess. <sighs> Anything else to talk about? So yeah, until then, I'm gonna try and get out as many videos as I can. And um, this series here is actually gonna be a continuous one. I'm gonna try to do make to try to make this a, a continuous series, but as you've seen, this is hardcore, so I could die at any given moment, and it's over. You know, like map is deleted and. Yeah, <laughs> so I think that'll make things pretty interesting, in my opinion. Because um, it's like if I'm working on a farm or an, a grinder or something like that, and I just end up dying from something dumb like fall damage, I think it'd be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> so, definitely something to look for. Oh, there's a there's a pyramid right over there. Desert temple? I don't know. Um, also, rage. I think rage could definitely be a part of all of this. I haven't seen desert dungeons. Like, Was that like patched where dungeons only spawn somewhere like farther down? Because I remember in the desert you'd see like a block or like a square indentation and it'd be a dungeon I don't know correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> but I swear I remember that like it was definitely a thing probably did get like taken off I love that this is clay now too by the way should I just jump down there nah <laughs> I want to keep this world like I've been trying this again and again. Should probably light it up too. See, I remember how to YouTube. <laughs> and I've actually, I actually have been recording. I just haven't posted anything. Like none of my videos have seen the light of day. This one is smooth. I like keeping it the exact same for some reason. I don't know. I'm weird. Let's just say that. Let me guess. No diamonds. Nope. Ooh, but iron horse armor. Hey there. Alright, let's... Let's skedaddle. I'm actually gonna take these off too. And I'm gonna put the pressure plate back. I like doing this. I don't know why. I really like... How these are made. And I really hate destroying it. Just because I want loot. But, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh wait, that's right. There's a piece from here. Alright, let's go. Isn't it also a thing that there's usually a a village around these? I don't know. Maybe I'm still stuck in the old Minecraft ways. Not even that old, but whatever. Oh, I think chunks are loading. Oh yes. Yes, they are. Um, if I can think of anything else to talk about. Uh, nope. I've got nothing else. So, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, this is like the biggest thank you I could ever give anyone. Because I have not been active for way too long and you guys are still here i don't know why i have lost some subscribers i don't, and i don't blame you guys i would have left much sooner um but you know just thank you guys thank you so much i can't say it enough and i'll probably say it a million times more because seriously, you guys are freaking awesome. I... 
I've never done something like this where I committed to it. I've never had to. Like most of my life, I end up leaving things. Not by choice either. So it's just something I grew up with, I guess. And um, I really hope to take this on and really do well with it. Like, I love I meeting new people is something I always do. I've never really enjoyed it since, like I said, I usually end up leaving. But now it's just like they're here and they're here to stay. Like, make sure of that. And I'm here and I'm here to stay too. So thank you again so much for watching. Um, definitely expect more from now on. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> thank you guys. Bye bye. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't forget guys. Stay awesome. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. You know, I didn't talk about time zone. Whoa. So, time zone is definitely a thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm retarded.